What is going on everybody? It's Brian from Brian Loves Bonsai and I'm back with another video for you today. I'm going to be repotting and doing some structural styling, some chopping on this very, very large Lysoloma. Uh, common name is horse flesh mahogany. Uh, this is a really, really big tree. As you can tell, it was sitting in a really, really large pot at the nursery where I work. And I've been staring at it for a while, and I finally decided to take it home, uh, get to work on the tree, repot it, uh, make the styling decisions that I want to make for the future of the tree, and continue its journey. So I'm jumping right into it. I am working out these roots, although the tree didn't seem incredibly root bound in the pot. Uh, it does just kind of seem like overall maybe the soil composition is a bit old. I think it's been in the pot for a while. So giving it a good repot anyway, clearing up and combing out the roots and making sure that the tree is going to receive uh, water to the central core of the tree, getting out some of that old decaying soil and any dead roots that are kind of sitting in the middle of that central mass. I'm just, it's a very easy repot on this tree. If you've ever worked with Lysoloma, their roots are, are very straightforward. They don't seem to develop too many thick and woody roots, and they also do not seem to require too many roots to support an, a, a very large canopy. So uh, that makes this very easy, along with the fact that I don't really have a pot for this tree to go into right now. I'm going to put it into a large nursery pot. And so the end goal of trying to fit it into something specific is not really there for me during this session, uh, which makes things a little bit easier. I am just going through and kind of clearing out the stuff that's jutting straight out uh, perpendicular to the ground, basically, and it's going to resist and cause issues uh, planting and laying into the flat bottom of the pot. And while I'm doing this, I'm also thinking about some of the structural and design changes that I'm going to make to the tree. I know that it is triple trunk up top, which means that at least one of them is going to have to go. And I ultimately ended up deciding, after staring at the tree for a long time, with that large, large trunk on the left, I think that it's just too straight. I think that it's just too big. It doesn't really create a nice, interesting taper for me. And then it doesn't go cohesive with any of the other branches on the tree. So realistically, if I were to keep that, it would have to be the only one that I would keep. And I just wasn't ready to make that decision yet. So I ended up going with removing that branch and keeping the, the very tall central branch along with the one that's uh, closely connected to it. And I ended up really liking the overall direction and design uh, choices that I made. The tree was also really infected with scale so I kind of go through the whole video and just do physical removal. I do spray uh, a systemic but it's it's pretty likely that it's not going to reach the scale at this phase since it does have that hard outer shell so physical removal is one of the good options for them especially since they can't go anywhere. So this thing was kind of covered head to toe on the new elongated branches because that is what they go for and so I was physically removing them throughout the video as well so I'm gonna go through the rest of this process just kinda do the structural design changes and finish up getting the roots situated uh, into the nursery pot and get the repotting finished I will put some music on for you so you can go ahead and enjoy the rest of the process and then of course you will see the tree in 360 degrees at the end there are a lot of potential fronts the one that I was staring at while I'm doing the repotting is definitely not the one that I'm gonna end up choosing but that's the, the positive aspect of planting it in a circular pot I don't have to make that decision about the front just yet so I'm gonna let this thing recover I'm going to see how it bounces back from this 
pretty extreme makeover and go from there. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this video. Thanks guys, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your night.